What is up, everyone? Corn O'Keefe back yet again. As the title implies, I'm bringing you O'Keefe's Q&A, part 22. So without further ado, let's get right to the questions. These first questions come from CDHB Sage. Question number one from CDHB Sage. Who is your favorite Street Fighter character? Yours is Ken. Well, funny enough, mine just so happens to be Ken Masters as well. Now, question number two. What's your favorite lightsaber color? Yours is purple. Well, uh, funny enough, yet again, mine is purple as well. After witnessing Mace Windu whip out his purple saber back in the day on the big screen, I was instantly hooked. Now, question number three. What are some franchises that you're trying to get into? Well, right off the bat, I would have to say Fist of the North Star, as well as Bleach. Now, moving on down the line to the fourth question. Who is your favorite Power Ranger of all time? Yours is personally Jason when he was the Red Ranger. Well, hands down, I would have to say the GOAT and the Prodigy himself, aka Tommy Oliver. Now, the fifth and final question from CDHB Sage. What do you think of the Bayonetta series? Honestly, it's pretty interesting. I uh, haven't done a lot of research, haven't played the series that much, but overall very unique in its own right. Hope this answers your questions, dude. Now folks, let's move right on down the line. These next questions are coming from Cuddy Kitten One. Question number one from Cuddy Kitten One. Who do you think is the strongest anime slash manga character? Well, at this moment in time, I really don't have a straight answer for that off the top of my head. Now, question number two. Who could beat the reverse flash that is not from Marvel and DC? Well, I would have to say a few of the god tiers in the Cthulhu mythos should be able to take out the reverse flash. Now, the third and final question. Who do you think would win? Eddie from Ed and Eddie versus Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Well, hands down, more often than not, I'd have to go with Seto Kaiba all day long on that one. Hope that answers your questions, dude. Now, folks, let's go ahead and move right on down the line. These next questions come from GamerSonic764. Question number one from GamerSonic764. Can you do Sonic versus Sash Lilac? I could potentially do that over on my second channel. Now, question number two. Now, question number three. Sonic EXE versus Dark Spine Sonic, who would win? Well, it depends on how you scale Sonic EXE, but if you're putting him at his absolute best, he should take victory more often than not over Dark Spine Sonic. Now, question number four. Can you do Thanos versus Eraser Dejin slash Alf Layla Walayla? Well, that could be a potential fight either on this channel or the second channel. Now, the fifth and final question. What's the best fight for Tails? Well, off the top of my head, I may have to say Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank, to be honest with you. Hope that answers your questions, dude. Now, folks, let's go ahead and move right on down the line. These next questions are coming from Joe2099 Sheba. Question number one from Joe2099 Sheba. What do you like to do when you're not making videos? Well, I like to work out at the gym, along with dog walking. Now, question number two. Who would win, Leonardo and Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Yang and Ruby from Ruby? Well, it honestly just depends on which versions of the Turtles you use. But if you're using the absolute strongest versions of the Turtles, I would have to say the Turtles. But if you're using the weakest versions of them, I may have to say Yang and Ruby, especially considering the new speed feats that Ruby and Yang have obtained recently. What is your episode of Rewind Rumble? Yours is Izuku Midoriya versus Miles Morales. Honestly, I would have to say Team Fantastic Four versus Team Incredibles, to be completely honest with you. Now, the fourth and final question. Where would you scale Shadow the Hedgehog game version? I would say Base Shadow consistently scales anywhere from multi-solar system up to Universal Plus. And I would have to say Super Shadow is anywhere from low multiversal up to full on multiversal very easily. In terms of speed, as far as his base form goes, I would say at bare minimum FTL, possibly infinite speed, and easily immeasurable speed as Super Shadow. 
Hope that answers your questions, dude. Now, folks, let's go ahead and move right on down the line. These next questions are coming from Mega Meta. Question number one from Mega Meta. Who would win, Paper Mario versus MCU Thanos, and why? Well, to be honest, MCU Thanos is like Universal Plus, and that's with the Infinity Gauntlet. Whereas Paper Mario is actually far beyond human imagination, which would include Plato's theory. Heck, Plato himself even called Mario's cosmology the truth. So yeah, I would actually say Paper Mario easily destroys MCU Thanos even if we gave him the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, question number two. Which death battles in season one fights would you change? Well, at this moment in time, I really can't say any off the top of my head. Now, question number three. Can you please do this idea? Super Saiyan God Goku versus Dark Spine Sonic. Ironically, I've done that matchup before, but it's over on my second channel. Now, the next question. Question number four from Mega Meta. How strong is Dreamy Luigi? Well, consistently, he should be outer versal. Now, the fifth question. Who would win, Dreamy Luigi and Mario versus the Dream Warriors? Hands down, I would have to give it to Dreamy Luigi and Mario more often than not. Now, the sixth and final question. Can you do Dr. Manhattan versus Bill Cipher? Well, to be completely honest with you, I've always thought about doing that matchup, so that could appear at some point in the future on the channel. Hope that answers your questions, dude. Now, folks, let's move right on down the line. These next and final questions on O'Keefe's Q&A Part 22 are coming from Penguin Party 119. Question number one from Penguin Party 119. What are your thoughts on the F Zero series? Pretty unique in its own right. Pretty freaking unique. Now, question number two. What game do you want to see remade the most? Off the top of my head, I really don't have one that I could say right now. Now, question number three, the third and final question. What item in fiction would you like to have in real life and why? Hands down, Thor's hammer Mjolnir. Heck, that thing lets you matter manipulate, transmutate opponents and elements, open portals, fly at immeasurable speeds, control the weather, and it would allow you to use the God Blast, which can literally take out multiversal plus level entities. So yeah, I would have to say Thor's hammer Mjolnir overall, but hope that answers your questions, dude. And folks, this is the conclusion to O'Keefe's Q&A Part 22. But hope y'all enjoyed it for what it actually was. And make sure to ask three to five questions down below in the comments section. And if you didn't hear your questions get answered in Part 22, they will definitely get answered in Part 23. But as always, have a blessed day, folks. Peace.